Well, it's New Year's Day and I'm gonna make a pot roast. So stick around, let's see how it turns out. This is Mike and Key Riffy Journey. So welcome back. All right, this is Mike, your reformed fat man here. I got my bottom round roast. And I'm gonna let it get pulled up on all sides here. I put some olive oil in the bottom of my slow cooker. I have a ninja slow cooker, by the way. And I know it's not hot in here yet, but I haven't seasoned it either. And so I'm just getting it hot and getting it seasoned all at the same time. So I'm gonna sear it and get it all zhuzhed up and be ready to go here. Let me get my seasoning. Here is my Mikey mix. I have a ninja slow cooker. I love it. It acts as a stove top. It acts as a oven, an and oven. <coughs> and it'll act as a uh, slow cooker, of course. So, got her seasoned up. Now we're gonna sear her up. Washing that stuff off of my hands. I got a bottom round roast. I bought it at Kroger. It was on sale. Bought it back in June. I haven't cooked it yet. And I had it frozen. Trying to get the tag off of here. I think I showed it to you all in my video before. Regular price, it was a, it was uh the day it was supposed to expire. They reduced it twice. You can see you got hopefully you can see that. Original price was twenty dollars and forty forty six cents. They reduced it with your Kroger Plus card to nineteen twenty six and then I got it at 980 that's not a pound that's total price still too high if you ask me but it's better than what it was way better than what it was oh man something's in my throat so <coughs> getting this all set here. Step that seared and let it render a little bit. It'll help a lot. So we're gonna get this seared up and then I'll bring you back. I got it good and seared on all sides here. So I'm setting it to cut now. On the slow cooker setting for four hours. It's on low, but I want to check it in four hours and see how it's doing. And I've got some broth I'm going to put in. But I'm not going to put it on top of the meat because I don't want to wash off any of the seasoning that I just put on there.
that's enough. So to that, I'm going to add some minced garlic extra. Garlic. <clears throat> Extra garlic because my Mikey mix has garlic in it, but I want to get some minced garlic in there too because it'll deliver a, a great flavor. Get it mixed in around. That's good. That was about a clove. Now, here comes the beast. What I love, and that's the better than bouillon. <coughs> if y'all have not used this, better than bouillon, it is fantastic. Better than bouillon. And I'm just gonna add in about a tablespoon of it. To boost the flavor. You could actually make the broth out of that if you wanted to, so. But I wanna just boost the flavor. <coughs> with it. And that is all we are gonna do to this. Well, no, wait a second. I do wanna put something else in it. I'm going to put some of this aminos in it. Normally I would put the W sauce, but I'm going to not do that this time. It's going to be the liquid aminos, and it's just the bragging liquid coconut aminos. And she is off to the races. All right, so... We're about halfway through the cooking process, or what I hope will be the end of the cooking process, and I'm gonna add some pats of butter on top of this, just to kind of let it soak into it. And much like, much like a Mississippi pot roast here, but not exactly, but it's close. <clears throat> now, I am going to add some banana peppers, pickled banana peppers. Now, Mississippi Pot Roast, I believe it uses pepperoncini in it. I'm not doing that because it's spicy. And my, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you'll know that my wife does not do spicy. Some of the brine's getting in there. That's perfectly fine. I'm not adding a lot. There we go. That ought to be enough. And I'm adding some pickled Vidalia onions in. Didn't want to put them in there at the beginning because they will just get wilted and be mush. I want them to still have a little bit of that texture to them. Oops. Well, my butter has slid right off. Probably knocked it off when I did this. There we go. All right. Now, I want some mushrooms, so I can't find fresh mushrooms still, so. I'm gonna use some canned mushrooms. Hopefully I can find where I got some. I do. Ain't much of them left though. There ain't a whole lot of them left. And I'm gonna drain it. And then I'm going to just put them around here. Ooh. 
There we go. And back on goes the lid. And we come back here in just a little bit. So our roast is done. It's got good, good color. It's all finished and it didn't take near as long as you would think it would. And it's tender, juicy, and very tasty. I am gonna make a gravy and I'm gonna pack it in its own juices or serve it in its own juices that way and use the gravy, uh, make the gravy with the uh, juices it made. So stand by for the gravy. For the gravy, I'm going to follow a little tip I got from my buddy and brother from another mother and put in some avocado. This is frozen, but it's, uh, it's diced avocado that I got at Walmart. And it'll thicken it up. And it'll make it just right. So that's our roast for New Year's. Hope you'll give it a try. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm.